I'm going to show you how to install Windows 2000 in Oracle's virtualization software, VirtualBox. So let's begin. First, download VirtualBox. Link in description. Click on the blue button that says New or press Ctrl N. Command N on Mac. Give your VM a name. I'll name mine Windows 2000. Make sure the type is set to Microsoft Windows and the version to Windows 2000. Select the amount of RAM you want to use. The default is 168 megabytes, but I'll make it 256. Select the disk size you want to use. I'll leave it at 4 gigabytes. Click Finish. Click on the orange button that says Settings. Go to the Storage tab. Click on the blue disk icon that says Empty. Click on the blue disk with an arrow and click Choose a Disk File. Navigate to your Windows 2000 ISO. The link to get what I used is in the description. Click OK. Now, click the green arrow that says Start. It will then start the setup. Press Enter to set up Windows 2000. Press F8 or FN F8 to agree to the EULA. Press Enter to set up Windows 2000 on the unpartitioned space. You can choose to format the partition with either the NTFS or FAT file systems. I'll choose NTFS. It will then format the partition, examine your disks, and copy files to the Windows 2000 installation folders. Then, press enter to reboot. If you see the screen, don't press any key. Doing that will send you back to where you started. It will then start up and go to the GUI portion of the setup. Once you see the screen, click next. Setup will then detect and install devices. Don't worry if your screen flickers for a few seconds, as this is normal. You can change the locale and keyboard settings here. I'll leave it as is. Once you're comfortable with it, click Next. Type your name and organization. I'll make my name TOWF and my organization TOWF Call. If you have the ISO from the description, type this product key. If you don't, you're going to have to find a new product key. Type the computer's name. I'll make mine Win2000. Make sure the date and time are correct and set your time zone. I'll set it to Atlantic Time Canada. Then install networking components. You can choose typical or custom settings. I'll choose typical. Choose no, then click next. It will then install the components.
Set will then install star menu items, register components, save settings, and remove any temporary files used. It might automatically eject the ISO. If it doesn't, release your cursor and go to Devices, Optical Drives, then click Eject Disk from Virtual Drive. Click Finish. It will then boot up. Once you see the screen, click Next. You can set a password if you want to. Once you're done, click Next. Click Finish. Finally, it will bring you to the desktop. Thanks for watching. I hope you're happy with your new Windows 2000 virtual machine. Bye!